Okay, everybody, welcome back to the Chessboard 8 channel. We're going to continue on in our series of learning how to play chess. Let's move right into it. You've already learned how to move the pieces, and we've mentioned the idea of capturing. Let's talk more about capturing. In chess, when you capture a piece, you simply move your own piece to the same square as your opponent's piece and replace their piece with your own. The captured piece is then removed from the board. You don't stop before the captured piece, you replace it entirely. Let's watch this queen capture a pawn. Now let's watch this knight jump over one of its own pieces to capture the queen. Capturing pieces is a critical part of the game. However, you do not have to capture a piece if you don't want to. That being said, if you can capture more of your opponent's pieces than they capture of yours, it's going to be much easier to win. One question about capturing that we haven't answered is, how do you notate a capture? Let's say in this position that you plan on taking the black queen with your queen on b3. A good idea. You would write the piece that will capture it, in this case, the queen. So we use a capital Q. You then write an X, which means captures. And then you write the square where the piece gets captured. So after queen takes e6, we would write Q, X, E6. Now, you guys, are, that's not going to come up for you when you're playing your games. The reason this is going to be important later on is if you want to use the analysis tool, and you, let's say you're setting up a board and you, you're trying to study a specific opening, the computer is going to tell you, um, and I think they call this algebraic annotation. So what it's going to show you is queen, X, E6. You're going to have to know how to read that. So in this case, it's telling you, move your queen and take the piece on e6. Here is one more capturing question. How do we notate a pawn capturing a rook and promoting to a queen at the same time? Good question. Does it sound complicated? Don't worry. It's just one extra step. We start by notating the capture. Remember, we mark a pawn with the file that it is currently on. In this case, the pawn is on the B file. So we would write a lowercase b, then we would write captures, which is an x, so lowercase b, x, and then the square that we capture, a8, so bx a8. So far, we have bx a8. Since we so like I did this a long time ago, I played in a tournament about 25, ooh, no, 28 years ago when I first started learning chess. And I don't really remember having to write that annotation or the algebraic expression, whatever the formal name is. Um, I don't recall doing it, but I'm certain that I had to. I'm, I'm pretty certain that I had to. Um, if you're playing over the board, I believe that this is a requirement on every over the board. So most of you are going to play online. You're never going to have to write this stuff down. So for any of you that are going to play in your school or you're going to play in a tournament, you're an adult and you want to go into an open tournament and play, you're going to be required to do this. So keep that in mind. We are promoting to a queen. You simply add to the end of your move an equal sign and then write which piece you are promoting the pawn into, which is usually the queen. So putting it all together, we would write b takes a8 equals queen. Now it's your turn to practice capturing pieces. All right, let's get right into it. Let's see what we got to do here. Can you find a capture for white? Okay, so what we want to do is just, we have a check. That's kind of cool, but that's not a capture, is it? We can't capture this pawn, and we can't capture this pawn, but looky right here. There's a rook just sitting there waiting for us, so let's take the rook. Nice. What can white capture? All right, so let's look and see. We have a knight. If you wanna, if you wanna do these arrows on the screen, you guys, you wanna right click on your mouse and then select where the knight can move okay and in this case since we're in the center of the board we, oh look at that since we're in the center of the board we know that we're going to have eight squares that the knight covers right one two three 
four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now this is gonna help you sometimes even when you're playing, especially if you're practicing your puzzles, drawing these arrows can help you determine what piece is available to be taken. So in this case, it's the queen, obviously. So let's take the queen. All right, let's move on. Can you find the one pawn that can capture a piece? Remember, pawns move forward, but capture diagonally. Well, we look at this pawn, there's nothing to capture, nothing to capture, can't go there, can't go there, there's nothing there. But in this case, you have a pawn. We just take the knight, so let's do that. Cool. Black's bishop is attacking the rook on a1. Right. How can you capture the bishop? Remember, one of the rules is when you're being attacked, you want to you want to ask yourself, can I block? Can I put something here to block this? Can I capture? Or can I threaten a higher piece, you know, like a queen or something? So in this case, it's just rook captures bishop. Boom. In this position, white has several captures, but only one of them is good. Can you find white's best capture? Okay, so we're white, and it's basically saying we're drawing our arrows again. Looks like we could take that piece. Now, why couldn't we take this piece? Why wouldn't you want to take the pawn on c6? Well, if you said because this pawn, whoops. Let's correct that. <laughs> if we were to take here, the pawn would take us back and we'd lose a queen. So that's not right. What about over here? Some of you might be afraid to use your king to capture pieces, but in this case, it's just hanging. So we'll take it. Perfect. All right, so that course is complete, and you can see how to capture pieces. Let's move on. Check means that a king is being threatened. A king can never, never actually be captured, so the other side must get out of check by moving, blocking, or capturing the checking piece. And that's what we just talked about, right? So what I'll do is I'll make a separate video on this subject, and you can just digest what you just learned today, and we'll make a next uh, another video on this tomorrow, okay? Hope you enjoyed.